at five from coast to coast. All eyes to the sky as a rare solar eclipse moves across America. Awesome, amazing. The incredible sight drawing crowds from Boston to Oregon to celebrate an historic event. And that phenomenon won't happen again until 2024. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Martin in for David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. Tens of millions of people saw some version of this eclipse. Take a look at this time lapse video from Oregon. The entire event lasted just under two minutes, moving at an average speed of 1,800 miles an hour. That's three times faster than a commercial jet. Our team coverage of the eclipse begins tonight with WBZ's Paul Burton, who is live in Westford. Paul? <laughs> I can tell you, it really was such an amazing and historic event for everyone who got a chance to see this solar eclipse. People I spoke with say the best part about it is what is that it didn't come and go so quickly. They really got a chance to take it all in wearing their special eclipse glasses and sharing the moment with family and friends. I see like a cookie that has a bite into it. The sun looks orange. It looks like a toenail, honestly. A solar eclipse from a kid's point of view. At the MIT Wallace Observatory in Westford, more than 150 parents and children witnessed the eclipse close up and from afar. What I'm seeing like right now is if I put my glasses on, it's like um, the it's like the sun is a crescent moon. It's yeah. very cool. Oh, don't look through it. Don't. <laughs> Keep them on, Dylan. <laughs> and with their special eclipse glasses, everyone sat outside gazing into the sun, watching this spectacle unfold. Do you see the eclipse? The Hurlbutt family made their own special shadow box, just in case there wasn't enough glasses to go around. So this is essentially like a big pinhole camera that we can use to look safely at the eclipse. Fabian came all the way from Germany to witness this with some of his MIT friends. It's amazing to, to look at the sun covered more than half of it. Like, yeah. You're all the way from Germany. Is this worth your trip? It is. It is definitely worth my trip. At around 2.45, the eclipse reached its peak, covering about 63% of the sun. Wallace Observatory Director Tim Brothers says this is history making its way through space. It's exciting for me because we have so many kids here, and uh, there's a next generation of future astronomers here that are interested in science. I know I did that. And today, all of them came with their hungry appetite for an eclipse. It makes me think of a cookie that I want to eat. And just so you get an idea of how popular this was, normally this place has maybe 30 people, 30 tourists that want to come and see this place. Today, they had 7,500. Hundred different requests from people wanting to get in. I tell you, it was really amazing. People just had a phenomenal time. I'm keeping these glasses, by the way. <laughs> Reporting live in Westford, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. That